what's up guys? So Kyle here and I'm back with a little bit of a different video. Um, you know, social media, the internet, YouTube, like all these things I feel like have really inspired me to do a better job, uh, look at things differently, look at ways to improve what I'm currently doing. And you know, if you've been following me, if you see the build series, you know that we're doing somewhat simple projects in a sense that we're not doing these high-end kitchens and baths. We're not doing million dollar renovations. Um, and there's always this kind of negative, you know, negative connotation that goes behind post frame that things don't have to be perfect. But that is so far from the truth. Your customers are spending the same money, whether it's on a barn, whether it's on a house, whether it's on a garage, whether it's on a kitchen, like they're spending the same value of money, they should get the same value of product in return. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I found to make my job even easier and better for my customers. We've all seen a miter, and if we haven't, a miter is where you take two boards, and in most cases you have a 45 degree cut, it gets cut and you put it together and that becomes your 45 degree miter. Now, typically what I use these for is a lot of times in our buildings, we finish the inside and we trim the windows. Uh, everybody has seen a window trim and it's usually very simple. Well, no different in a post frame. They're pretty much just a one by four and we just case it with a nice mitered one by four, something like this. Think picture frame. So think about a picture frame. The way I've just always done it is I go and I get my measurements, I cut the bottom board, then I cut my two side boards, and then I put my top board on. And I kind of install them one at a time and make sure that everything looks good. You know, you're kind of installing it and you're making your miters line up real nice and then you're nailing it off. Well, I evolved. Then I learned, well, I should probably be gluing these joints, especially because post frame is out in some sort of the elements. So you do get some different temperatures. It's not always a nice controlled space. And so the wood is gonna move, which means I gotta do the best I can to keep it a nice tight miter. So I started gluing the joints. I thought, well, this is great. It made me sit there and I had to hold it. Sometimes I would, you know, clamp it with, uh, with my hands. I would take a nail gun and I'd put a little brad nail in it just to keep it tight. And that was pretty cumbersome. So what I started doing then was I would build them on a flat surface like this. I would cut all my pieces, I would glue them and I would push them real nice and tight together and then pop a nail and I'd sit and wait for, you know, 20 minutes enough for that glue to set up so I could go install it. Well, I'm always looking for ways to make my job easier and better. So I don't even know how I never did this, but 11 years of work in the trades and I finally went out and I bought myself a simple tool. And this is a Craig jig, which basically does pocket hole screws. If you haven't ever seen a pocket hole, um, I'll show you because I came right home and I made this. This was a simple frame. All I did was took some scrap lumber and I put a bunch of pocket holes in each joint and um, it made a super strong, super tight mitered window casing. So this is what I'm gonna show you guys real quickly how I made and I think you'll be able to apply it in your own trade or just even if you're a DIYer, this is super affordable. I think I give like, oh man, maybe 80 bucks for this set. And it comes with basically everything. I will double check that and I'll put the right amount down in the description because I don't remember exactly. Um, I went to my local Menards, which is like a big box Home Depot Lowe's, but in the Midwest, way better. And I purchased just about everything I could with Craig because I just wanted to get my hands you know, all the way in there and just really get into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rip down some, some extra stock that I've got here and we're gonna go ahead and make a picture frame. I'll show you how the system works and that's it. Real nice and simple, but I think this is a great video, a great tutorial that probably anybody could use just about anywhere and it is so simple yet does a amazing job. So here we go, let's do this. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rip down this material to a dimension that is all the same. That way our miters will line up nice and tight 
and everything will be good. What I've got is I've got four boards that are all equal and they all have a 45 degree miter cut on the ends because a 45 degree is probably the most common miter and probably the, the one that most people are going to encounter. So now we bring in, let's get rid of this stool. Now we bring in the Craig jig. Um, it does come with this nice little clamp and I'll go ahead and use that to clamp it down to my work surface. That way it does not move. Now, there's a couple things on this jig that you need to know. First off, this here is going to um, have a dimension for your thickness of board. So you set this to the right dimension. And then when you set up your drill bit, you've got a little stopper here and that stopper is gonna be installed based on where your, your thickness of your board is. So once again, it's got the jig right here so you can set it up real nice and easy. I've already done that. Now the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our pocket holes on these miters. And this is something I just played with a little bit. And what I'll show you before I actually do it on my real piece is I'll take this scrap here and I'll set it in here. Now what I found is I like to go just just past the first one on your miter, and I'll show you why. Let me go ahead and make a quick drill. So now you can see what I did is I put these two pocket holes in here, okay? And one of them I've got close to this side, and the other one I've got as far out as possible so that I can attach it way out here on this miter and get as close to this corner as possible. First thing I like to do, just because this is a job site miter saw, and so it does get moved around a lot, I did not check it to be perfect. So let's just really quickly lay out our boards. Let's make sure that nothing moved on me and I'm still cutting good 45 degree angles, which I should, but it never hurts to just quickly check and I'm gonna say, yes, that will work. Let's go ahead and put our pocket holes in. I'm just gonna kind of do this like an assembly line here. So I'm gonna move this forward right until it hits the edge and then go just past it a hair. Okay, first one down. And now all I need to do is just on one side of these. I don't have to do both sides. Now that I've got all my Craig jig holes uh, drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of my way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the joint. Now in the end, the glue is the thing that's gonna really hold this together. The screw is just to keep it sucked in nice and tight and add that extra strength before we install it. And we take this handy little clamp. And what this clamp does is not only does it hold the material in place, but it also pushes them into the same plane so you get a nice finish on the other side. Simple as that, now we're gonna go ahead and put a couple pocket screws in. We'll 
We'll just keep kind of rotating this around and doing one at a time. Well, there you go, guys. So there is the most simple way that I've found so far to put together some face frames or some casing for a window or door is go ahead and make it up on a table where you can do it efficiently. It's really no different than the way I build my buildings, which is all on the ground, and then I stand them up. It's always easier to work where it's more comfortable. And this is better than holding up your casings on the window and trying to make it all line up. Now. You can take your window casing, go put it right where your window frame is and tack it up. It's that easy and this is gonna be a super strong connection and I don't have to worry about these joints opening up over time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you guys wanna leave me some feedback, tell me what you think. Is this, a, is this a practical way to do some trim or to do some casing on your jobs or your home. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you like to see this sort of content, drop me a comment down below. Let me know that you wanna see more of these tips and tricks and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with some of the build series or some of the tools day videos where I talk about different tools that I either use on site or just got and I wanna share with you guys. So appreciate it. Thank you for all the support and I hope you guys learned something. I know I had fun teaching it and we'll see you guys next time on whatever video you guys go and watch next. So make sure you check one of these videos out. Thanks.